Hi, everybody. We are so excited to announce that we are officially going on tour. 15 dates this fall. We are getting on the bus. It's a Penny Lane moment. We're upgrading our VIP experience this time around. There's a book, a Lady Secrets book with purchase with every single ticket. I hope we're coming to a city near you. You can check out all the tour stops at theladygang.com slash tour. We'll see you there. Today's episode of Lady Gang is brought to you by Solo Stove. Get big discounts on all fire pits during Solo Stove's summer sale. And use promo code LADY at solostove.com for an extra $10 off. That's solostove.com, promo code LADY for $10 off on top of their incredible summer sale discounts. Well, what is this? Welcome to the Lady Gang. That's amazing. Say that again. The Lady Gang. Things are about to change around here. Each week, we catch up with Hollywood's hottest girl posse, Kelty Knight, Becca Tobin, and Jack Vanek. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lady Gang. I am Becca Tobin here with Jack Vanek and Kelty Knight. And guys, I've got gas. (laughs) (laughs) She's gassy. Are you guys gassy? No. Nope. We all eat relatively the same thing. I'm, just, I'm not gassy. We had and we had Diet Coke and Coke, and you didn't have anything. Maybe you needed a little bit of Coke. Maybe in the you system. should have had a little Can bubbly bubbly. Talk about when our order arrived <laughs> that we had sushi, and then Jack got a Coke. Yeah. And then there were three Diet Cokes <laughs> in that bag, and yeah. all of which were, they were all for you. I'm keeping them for tomorrow as well <laughs> instead of going to the 7 Eleven. Oh my God. You know? That's incredible. Did You're, you want one? No, no, no. This time of night, I would be awake. Wait, that would keep you up just from Coke? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Really? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, are you that sensitive? I would horrible to be back at. I would be sitting in your room staring at you, asking you like a million questions if you wanted to choreograph a dance. Oh, oh. that's called his dream. And, actually. Actually. <laughs> and the answer is, let's, yes. have a, let's all have a Diet Coke. Your eyebrows look amazing right now, Jack. Mine do? Yeah, yeah they do look good. I haven't had them done in like I two like years. I like this. This is it. That's, That's why they look faded. so off. Because they fade. Not they're like faded, bad. but they're like faded where it's not too intense. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, yeah keep it like good. this. It's good. Right. This is a bridal of, brow. How often are a bridal brow? How often are you doing microneedling? It's permanent. So why are you doing it? Like once a year. A touch up. They That's, just touch up the little spots that start going away. Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah. For people that actually don't have eyebrows. Mm. Like what you guys you just do? like filled in like your random like I filled mine spots. in but I'm so annoyed with them because then I went in a different eyebrow direction in February <laughs> like I always wanted to have fluffy brows and now I want to have like more of a sculpty brow and then like the little bit of tattoo for my eyebrows is like too low and we had to cover it with concealer and I'm just really annoyed with it because I the first time remember I was the first one that did eyebrows I went and it was like beautiful and I loved it and yeah. then my neighbor was like oh I do it too and I let her do it and she did it way <laughs> too deep and now it's like it's literally orange guys underneath <laughs> Yeah, when you go I'm too so deep. annoyed by it. Well, definitely don't you let your neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> she was an esthetician. I, I don't know. I make bad choices. I mean, I was an actress. I'm not doing Shakespeare in the park. That's you right. know what I That's mean? Right. No yeah. one should pay me to do that. No, I make stupid mistakes where I'm... Well, I saw a couple of Instagrams that were good. Well, obviously, you're not going to post your bad Instagrams. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. A classic. Can't wait to tell you guys how I f***ed up my life. Back right. I'm well, ready. <laughs> it's time for... Good week. Yes, it is. Bad week. Oh, no. I want to just say my good week is that I love Chris Knight madly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love him so much. And I'm sorry. Before we get into this, (laughs) we tried to start this episode before and then we restarted it. And Kelty had already started talking about her good week, which involved filling up holes in her in ceiling. Her so I feel like she's changed directions because it wasn't getting the res- like receiving. That well, it- I'm going to give you a, that was a rehearsal you had yeah. and take the feedback. So yeah. what do you feedback think? Feedback is, is no one wanted to hear about my renovation. <laughs> no. So it's, I'm, that's it's a visual content. medium. I was just going to say, it's Social. not that nobody wants to know about it, but Thank if we you. can't see it, it we don't is mind numbing. We don't want to hear about it. <laughs> exactly. So, I want to listen. I want to see it with no yeah. sound. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to say this. My good week is that like Chris Knight. So I, you know, I've been away and we've been traveling and like, there's something about travel that just always like unites you with your person, Mm -hmm. like being somewhere else and in a sexy hotel room or whatever. But, but like, you know, Chris and I have now been together like over a decade and I just really, my biggest fear getting married again, or like even, you know, was, I knew I wanted it, but I was like, I'm going to get sick of this person. Mm -hmm. Like I can't keep... 
Like, honestly, when we started Lady Gang Podcast, we were like, no blue manicures. I'm almost close to back to being like, I think a blue manicure. Like, I'm almost. <laughs> She's on like, her turquoise. Yeah, well, like a, I change my mind yeah. about things. But you that's know? also trends. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's not I mean, a human. I still don't want to see a blue, but. Right. Okay. But, like, I saw this girl. I don't really love a color color. I saw a girl with a dark, dark, dark forest green nail. Oh, and I, I like that. That's great. Sick. I like dark that. Dark green is. I think that's we're talking a, about turquoise. But that's a color. Yeah. That's. Anyway. Ish. Anyway, my point being. Is I was like, I'm gonna get sick of him and I'm gonna feel like there's nothing else to learn about this person and that I'm bored. Mm -hmm. And I just like keep loving Chris Knight. Like, I love him and he surprises me and he's so funny. And like, I just love, there's like just no one I'd rather be around. No offense to you or to you, Callie. But like, I just, I really love him. And I think that I'm so hard on him on this podcast that I just want to mention that I love you. I love you. I love you. I know that you're not listening. Can I say something regarding that? Sure. I have a question as well. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Miss Knight, I have a follow up. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't want this to be taken the wrong way. It will be. I was recently with Chelsea, who formerly worked with the Lady Gang, and she went on to b- bigger, broader pastures. Yeah. That sounds like death, but whatever. Yeah. She's alive. She's, she's still with us, Earthside. <laughs> yeah. But she and I were talking about somebody she recently was working with, and a very successful person, like high functioning, successful, whatever, but she can't seem to find her person. Mm -hmm. And I said, what do we think the, like, what do we think it is? You know? And she said, well, she's wired differently. You know, the reason she's so successful is Mm -hmm. because she's not wired like a normal human. And I was like, and then I said, (laughs) oh, (laughs) it's, she hasn't found her Chris Knight Mm -hmm. because the fact that Kelty found a person, not because you're you're a beautiful snowflake. Obviously. <laughs> that sums it up, right? Point there. made. <laughs> but like you oh. are a special snowflake. Yeah. You are not a typical woman or person or you you're predictable, but you're not. You're like in it, but you're not. I mean, exactly what you're saying right now. Sometimes you're in it, but you found your person and it's all Chris, Na- Chris Knight. It, you did nothing but be yourself. <laughs> and he can love, he loves everything about you who, for who you are. Yeah. No, you are definitely one of the examples that I tell people that there's some, <laughs> there's somebody for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming across so bad, <laughs> but it's true. Cause you are very, you, and you know, it's, you found somebody that fits with you so well. My follow-up question was going to be, um, about recently you're talking about on an episode about how he was texting you when yes. you were gone and you, he Ignore. was saying how much he loved you and he missed you and you just like didn't respond. So like, I was wondering if you have been telling him, have you been communicating how you feel? I did that night. Mm. make time to really text him back when we were in New York. She and really, then she rearranged her schedule. She <laughs> made the time for it. Yes. And then the last few weeks that I was in Canada after that New York trip, I really started to miss Chris. Like, you know, when I spend time alone, I don't really miss people for like a while. Like yeah. it takes me a yeah. long time to be like, Ooh, I could be surrounded by a human. So that's really probably hurtful to him. Cause I'm like, I'm good. Bye. Like yeah. there's days where he goes to New York and we don't even talk. Like I'm like, mm, see you when I see you. Um, <laughs> I know and it sounds so mean, but it works for us. And so I really started missing him. And so we started FaceTiming all the time Oh, um, and it was weird cause we never really FaceTime, but then we'd be like, how was your day? And anyway, it was That's nice. Cute. So I, love, I love Chris Knight is my good week. My bad week is I can hate Chris Knight. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, C- Chris Knight can get you like right now. If you called Chris Knight and you were like, Chris Knight, I need two I don't even know how cocaine comes. Two bags of cocaine. Mm -hmm. Dime bags. A dime. I need two dime bags of cocaine, Mm -hmm. a pair of leopard print platforms that are green, and a private jet to Milan. He could do it. In 45 minutes, you would be on that fucking jet wearing your boots, and you'd be going to Milan. Like blowing lines of coke. Blowing lines of coke. Like Chris Knight can get you anything. He organizes adults' lives for a fucking living. Yeah. So... (laughs) 
we had a little issue with our taxes. Uh-oh. AKA, oh, wow. Chris Knight didn't pay our fucking property tax, guys. So <laughs> when you don't pay your property... So I assumed wrongly that Chris had it handled because, as you know, I skim paperwork. So when it comes to paperwork for a mortgage or something, like, I let him You're handle that. You're not the person. I am not the person. Yeah. I love to highlight. I like to make my own list, but don't let me read someone else's list. So I assumed, like every other mortgage we've had, that the property tax just comes out every month with your mortgage alongside, right? Is that what you do? You don't know either. Uh, we do. We just pay for it once a year. Once a year. Okay. Yeah. So I assumed wrongly that that's how we did it. I didn't really know how we paid it, but it's now summer, you know, like the tax year is over mm-hmm. and last year mm-hmm. is way over. And so Chris Knight is also an adult who doesn't open his mail. He doesn't believe anything important comes in the mail unless it's like a package, right? The most important things come in the mail because the IRS is like behind 20 yes. years. They are... Prehistoric. So he just has, I bring in the mail every day. Jury duty, mail. He just has piles and piles of unopened mail. Nope. Somewhere in that mail. Was your property tax. Was the property tax bill. And we let it go for so long. And I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. We had to pay a $5,000 penalty fine. $5,000 is a lot of money and it's also like money that you did not like I don't mind spending money I don't like it when it could have been anything when I, yeah when you can avoid it that's it. the fucking rug I want or yeah. the you know that's a fucking mortgage for a month like I just I'm like oh my god I just am so angry about it but I had to be cool mm. and the thing was is that Chris for weeks was like do you think we paid the property taxes and I was like I don't know babe I feel like it comes out with the mortgage and he never went and checked on it but yet, he could get you a leopard boot <laughs> and a Coke. So anyway, we didn't pay our property <laughs> taxes Coke. last year. I'm sorry to the state of California. And I'm my, credit f- score, you, California. my credit score is probably in the tank. Oof. And I'm $5,000 less. Does I have no idea. Your credit? I probably, like probably when you don't doesn't. pay bills. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. What do you need credit for anymore? Exactly. You, you already house? own your house. You have a million credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Just no. You know, they keep sending me don't things. Don't open an ice cream shop. Yeah. I keep. They keep sending me things delicious. where they keep <sighs> upping. Where are our cookies? My limit. I haven't made them yet. They're at the gate. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> it's your turn. I'll make them. I'll if go, you're a good, I'll go. if you're a good girl, okay. you can have them after if you're this. You're a good girl. Ew. Ew. It sounds sexual. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> um, okay, so that actually brings me to a like kind of good week, bad week. I don't know. It's a segue. No, it is a good week, bad week. We're in the good week, bad week section of the podcast. Yes, I know. Uh, This has to do with good week, bad week. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me make sure. Did I tell my story about my... uh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. (laughs) Cool. Yeah. That one's good. First of all, my good week is I have two new best friends. Oh. Is it Jack and Becca? No, no. It's two other, it's two other. <laughs> Is it Jack blonde- and Becca? Do you even see yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's two other. I'm in Jack and Kelty, <laughs> but I was so in my own head. This is where I live in my own little world. We Can know. Continue? No, it's two other blonde women. Who? You don't need any more blonde women. Guys, I am in. There's already too many. I am in deep with deep dive podcast. Is that a June June Diane? June Diane Raphael. You told us the story already. No, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to continue to talk about them. Okay. Um, And Jessica St. Clair. Yeah. And they do this thing on their podcast that we do, which is we always say we're going to start something or do something and then we never do it. And so they called themselves out on it this past week and I'm behind many weeks, but I'm catching up and they didn't, they called themselves out for it. But the one thing that they said they were going to do is something that I would really like to do, but I need to know if it's like a terrible idea or a great idea. They were talking about their spending and how one, they want to bring in their credit card statements and go through what they spend in a month. (laughs) No. And compare. And I really want to, but I also really don't. Should we? Could we do it on a percent basis? Yeah, like we don't have to say the money. exact amount. We could say like the percent of my <laughs> monthly bill was but for shopping on Amazon was but this. But then is that fun? I just am so embarrassed by my spending. I'm embarrassed too. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I can't stop myself. I can't stop either. It's a big problem. One of my manifests of this year was to not, because in years past, I was always a super saver. Me and too. so I would save this certain amount of money I wanted to save and I wouldn't buy anything until I saved that money. And it would take oh. me like four or five months and then I would spend the rest of the year. But now I'm just a spendaholic. I am trying. <laughs> I've seen those boxes. I'm a psycho. <laughs> I returned ha- mo- like 95% of that. I also found an interesting fact about Revolve that they like do $320 million in sales mm-hmm. a year, but 186 of it is I think I've that's heard- probably most online okay. stores right now because yeah. they're, that's, you, you just have buy to. to try everything on. Oh that yeah. Fits. I don't keep like 90% of the shit I buy. I know. I always like feel bad that they're judging me when everything comes back to the you know, warehouse. Like another one of these bitches. I'm like, like they think take. I'm like doing some scam over yeah, here. I know. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So I would do it with you like or the, I'll just do it. It's such a problem that my spending, I just need to be held accountable is what I'm saying. Uh, to cry for help. Like I went through my closet and I put together a whole thing for the real, real for them to come mm-hmm. and pick up like handbags and shoes and blah, blah, blah. Like I got rid of shoes that I have been, that I've had in my closet since like my very first red carpet, mm-hmm. which was 2012. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I still had those shoes Yeah. and I needed to get rid of them. And so I'm so terrible that I was feeling so bad. The reason I got this collection together is because I'm like, you're going you to back get back on track. We're going to get back on track. And the girl's yeah. there and she's taking pictures of my stuff and we're chatting and we're chatting. And she's like, yeah, something about the app. And I go on the app and I'm like looking. And then I realized that you're there's talking. a bag I really like. Yeah. And I clicked <laughs> and I did a final fucking sale. No. Oh, bag. No. From the real real. No. As I'm trying to hawk my not wear, a final sale bag. A final sale a bag. Did I you was get it? I'm manic. Yeah. Did yeah, you get I it, got though? it. I haven't like gotten it? it in the mail. Oh. Who knows? What if it's f***ed <laughs> up? You can't return it. Well, it can't be f***ed up. They say what's up with the bag when yeah, you look but at it. And if it's at, if it's I've gotten screwed over by some final sales. You have. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Shit. Cuz you get it and you're like, but, "Oh, I mean, the like, reason it's final sales cuz it sucks." No, a lot of why well, is it allegedly final sale? I think with the real real and why they do final sale bags is people were buying bags and then re- returning fake bags. Uh, oh. Allegedly. Oh. What I've heard. Oh, that makes sense. So then they're not selling like so you can't return it. Oh, well so that's actually a good thing cuz yeah. it means it's not fake. But it might not be, you real. know, the quality is guys questionable. I'm a, yeah. I have hives thinking Subjective. about this. I I know I you have a problem. It and then I was like, what What's what wrong with you? you guys? I bought it's... two moo's <laughs> off Instagram because I was like, oh, I'm going on this big trip. I need some fancy, fancy moo's. They were like $300 a moo from this company that got me with the beautiful ads. When they came, it was essentially a tablecloth with a fucking hole. And then I'm like, I got to return these. And I you go can't. on final sale. Oh, are they I'm, cute though? No, I'll let you try How one later. I'll have one. It was I need like $250. And I was amazing. like, they're $250 on each? Amazon? No, on, on Instagram. Instagram app. Oh. And I'm trying oh, no. you to don't talk do. myself into how cute this Moomoo is. And I'm like, this if is. If you don't think it's cute. It it's not may cute. not be cute. <laughs> but I, I might. Is it so ugly? It's is cute? it bedazzled? No, it's just. Bedazzled. I'm going to try it on for you later, but it's you're not going to like it, you guys. Okay. This whole fit is well, awesome. And the woman in the Instagram was it. so beautiful, and she had a matching Of course she was. Scarf. Instagram ads are the best marketing you've ever seen. Everyone's beautiful, and their lives are so much better She's than on ours. the beach, and hers was Jared's satin. Jared's going to hate doing the sorry. sound for this episode. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to yell, Jared. Okay, continue on. What's your bad you know what? You know what, Jack? I have a... You this is a real conflict of interest. Just turn you down. This is a real conflict of interest because she gets a real stick up her ass about sound. <laughs> Your loyalty is to the lady gang. For this hour, yeah. it is to the lady gang. It is not to the editor. <laughs> no. <Pass the> salt. <laughs> my, my sound always sounds phenomenal. You do sound it's great. Not Are you me. number one right now? No, I'm, no, I'm saying your loyalty oh. is to us. You can't. I am loyal. Do not. Bleak. I actually can't hear myself right now. <laughs> you can't because I turned you down too yeah, much. Thank you. I'm okay. saying do not police us. <laughs> In it our was just a space. No, it's, oh, the listener all, also probably well, wouldn't have says, a ball listening. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So here is here's my that was my bad week, and I have a good week. Okay. Great. I'm glad you do. This is the Lady Gang. Six years. I in. don't have a good week. I'm gonna have to wing it. <laughs> Hang on. I have to find it. Hold on. Maybe the good week could be like how nice and clean this office is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is actually very funny. It, it's a bad week, but it's funny, and I kind of liked okay. it. Okay. I posted a picture of myself in a new bathing suit, 
speaking of shopping, mm-hmm. I, I spent like, wait, I spent more than you can possibly spend on bathing suits from Target than any human ever did. Uh-huh. And I ordered like 85 sizes of the same same junior's bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> so I found one that was like fine and nice and whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to break this thing out and I'm going to go lay out and I'm going to whatever. And I'm in the sun and I'm feeling like this is kind of cute. And it's a target bathing suit. I need people to know you can get a cute bathing right. suit. I'm yeah. so target. relatable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I take a picture. It's like selfie style and it's on stories and I'm just feeling like cool. I'm going to get so many DMS being like, it's so cute, you know, <laughs> and buying it. And instead I got a girl being like, Hey, cute bathing suit but i just need you to know in that picture that i can see a pube oh my god amazing <laughs> shut up uh amazing shut up. <laughs> sorry to me yeah <laughs> sorry bleak. Bleak. bleak yes yes and i did you sexy scre- mature did you screenshot it <laughs> yes let me read you the exact i mean you have to really look too i know how just long were your pubes on jesus um hold on it's it's I obviously hadn't been at the European Wax Center. No, she was growing out. In a while. Mm-hmm. Okay. On. All right. You can go, Jack. I can re. Okay. Um, okay. So my, I don't know. It's a by proxy week. Mm-hmm. It's Jared's bad week. I don't mm-hmm. know if it's, it'll maybe be both because I don't have a good week. Mm-hmm. So remember how I told you guys I burnt off half of my hair? Yes. yes. So that same night, we got drunk after that. Of Wasn't course. drunk when the hair was burnt off, mm-hmm. but got drunk after that. And we were walking around New York trying to find a pizza. It was late at night. We walked past this guy. He was like a tourist. And then we turn around, and the guy points at Jared, and he goes, Kid Rock! <laughs> and Jared's like, what? And he's like, you're Kid Rock! And About like, Jared? Yes. This tourist Jared in looks New York nothing City like Kid Rock, but okay. Thought that Jared was, was Kid, Kid Rock, Rock, and then Jared proceeded to spend the next half an hour googling pictures of Kid Rock to make sure that he did not look like him. Does he look like Kid Rock? No. I don't. Was he wearing aviators? No, it was at night. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. He it really ruined his day. Yeah, because, because that's like when people tell me I look like Caitlyn Jenner. No offense, Caitlyn Jenner. You're beautiful, but like you're 65 <laughs> and I'm 40 and, you know, it's like. Well, Jared has this like. Hard not to take to heart. There's this thing that people will send a picture of any redhead and be like, uh, I saw your twin. Yeah. And it could be like somebody that doesn't look. Right, at- it's carrot top and you're like, go f*** yourself. Yeah, so yeah. he gets very. But Kid Rock isn't even in ginger. No, he just has long hair and he's white. <laughs> <laughs> it, it couldn't be. A worse uh kid rock can get it <laughs> not for me but it's from someone i'm sure he can get it i mean he's definitely gotten it <laughs> he's rich as he transferred to country music like he's yeah. so rich but jared was very um upset Poor Jerry. yeah sorry jared he doesn't no. look anything like kid rock i know i agree um that's my kid okay. bad week becca did you get the dext yeah the dext? just letting you know you can see some pubes in your target bikini story Heart, in case you give a. F- <laughs> I like that she knew that you wouldn't give a. Fuck. I did. Oh, I you did. did. You delete. I start. I'm screaming. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. Jesus. Did you have a picture of the picture so we can see if you yeah. can see him? I'm upset. Can you see if you've deleted it at archives or something? Oh, I have I no idea. Know. Anyway, you've got pubes. Welcome to the club. Of, you've got pubes. Speaking of a um, celebrity, whatever. Uh, Doppelganger? Yeah. Megan, my friend who got married last year, she had got her wedding pictures back and she goes, I didn't realize that your date to the wedding was Pitbull <laughs> because there's this picture of me and Zach at the wedding and it looks like I'm sitting next to Pitbull. So, <laughs> oh my God, so, I love it. That a is, lot of people tell, tell him he looks like Pitbull. He does. Just because he's bald. I think so. But, but Pitbull is dead sexy. I got to be yeah, honest with you. I did not think Pitbull was hot and then I did the show with him and that I was episode, like, Wait, that I watched a super fan. Like, you're like, I'm so attracted. He can get it. It's because he's fucking get it. confident. <laughs> My friend. Is. So I have a friend whose dad is like, um, <sighs> he's like, just kind of like Zach shaped, right? Like a bald head, but like, you know, big guy, like whatever. And on Father's Day, she posted just like one after another, like lookalikes being like, happy Father's Day. It was like Mr. Jeff Clean. Bezos. Oh my God. And then it was like, it was so funny. That's actually genius. It was really yeah. hilarious. Like I think on Zach's next birthday, you should like post like the, what's the guy? Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Uh, I people. get so many people commenting on my TikTok because people are so rude on TikTok. Yeah. And they take things so literally. 
the, I posted something about him like you can't have him he's mine and he was doing something completely idiotic and right. ridiculous yeah. and someone's like you can have his Mr. Clean ass <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like, you're like have Rude. you ever been around Zach Martin Zach Martin he could get it <laughs> We got to stop using that. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I like it too. It Do you know it. what it's from? Is it get like, no. get, it's he from can that, get the pussy? It's from that, yes. It's from that terrible Bella Hadid. She, you can't believe you haven't seen this on TikTok. So Bella Hadid is like all of us where she gets the accent of wherever she is. Oh, There's yeah, this amazing this. TikTok of yeah. her. And she's in the sneaker store yeah. for like the, the <laughs> vibe interview. And they're like, he's, she's like, if honey's got a pair of dunks, he can get it. And then the next clip is her being like, the show was great. No, like in <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. it's yeah. so funny. That is amazing. It's like I need to see this. Is, he can get it. The show was great. No, the best collection. And I was like, what's your voice? She's a chameleon. I do the yeah. same thing though. When I, anyway, okay. Live your life. When we come back, casual questions. Summer is here and lucky for you, Brooklinen is here to keep you cool and living in comfort at home and on the go with their best-selling bedding, loungewear, towels, and more. I'm telling you, my whole house is Brooklinen 360. That means there's towels, there's loungewear, there's bedding. It's in every bed. Make your entire bed feel like the cool side of the pillow this summer with Brooklinen's signature crisp, breathable, classic percale sheets currently on my bed and a dream. And replace your heavy winter bedding with their lightweight comforters for ultimate breezy light as a cloud feel you could also check out their ultra soft breathable classic t-shirts they're amazing chef's kiss tanks shorts and more that will keep you comfortable throughout the summer heat waves i'm telling you just go over there take your quiz they'll help you find the perfect set of cooling sheets lightweight towels or breathable loungewear head over to brooklinen today to keep your cool at home and on the go all summer long go to brooklinen.com use promo code lady 20 to get 20 dollars off your purchase of 100 dollars or more and free shipping that's b-r-o-o-k-l-i-n-e-n.com enter promo promo code LADY20 for $20 off and free shipping. And to all the LA folks, come and see and feel the comfort in real life. You can now shop Brooklyn and Sheets towels and more in person at their new Santa Monica store. I absolutely love coming on here and telling you about a sponsor that not only I use, but Jack and Kelty for years. Nutrafol is one of our favorites, and 30 million women are impacted by weakened or thinning hair. That's why thousands of women have taken back control of their hair with Nutrafol, with many users raving that the supplement not only transformed their hair, but restored their confidence too. Nutrafol offers two targeted formulas for women that are clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness with less shedding through all stages of life. So in a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after six months. More than 1,500 top doctors recommend Nutrafol as an effective and high quality solution for healthier hair. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com, entering promo code LADY to save $15 off your first month's subscription. This is their best offer anywhere and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. For $15 off at Nutrafol.com, dot com spelled n u t r a f o l dot com promo code lady. So this is Becca, but I am actually going to be talking to you about Jinx on behalf of Orly and Barbara, the two pups living in my home, because we recently switched over to Jinx, our sponsor. They love it. It is clean, modern food and treats designed for dogs by pet parents. So every recipe is crafted with easy to digest proteins like organic chicken, 20 plus superfoods like pumpkin, carrots and cranberries, plus probiotics for added gut health support, which we love. They offer a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee and Every Jinx purchase provides a meal for a shelter dog through their Give Bark program, which is so amazing. Find Jinx clean ingredient kibble, slow smoked jerky treats, freeze dried meal toppers, and limited ingredient dental treats online or select Walmart locations. So try Jinx today and get 15% off your first two orders online at thinkjinx.com slash lady. Your dog deserves a healthier food they actually want to eat, and you can feel good about it. Visit thinkjinx.com slash lady. T H I N K J I N X dot com slash lady today. Now back to the lady gang. Okay, I have some casual questions for you. I feel like I heard someone upstairs. Could that be true? No. But I have a neighbor. <laughs> okay. It's not upstairs, but okay. <laughs> okay. It's freezing in here. Do you want me to turn it down? Like it's a little it's chilly. I was worried you guys would be cold. It only just got cold. Okay, well, let's finish this okay. kadoodle. Yep. What's the best and worst piece of advice you've ever received? I feel like we've, we've done, done this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in. What challenging thing are you working through these days? 
Learning to surf. <laughs> I it is challenging. So I, haven't, like, I haven't. Do you have you ever surfed? Have you been in an ocean since you stayed in that? <laughs> have you ever been? Yeah, I went deeper Hawaii. than a vagina in an ocean. No, I've I've surfed. I'm not that bad at it. I just have not tried to start this my surfing from journey a past yet. Episode. This is from a past episode. Jack, Jack said, said she wanted to learn how to surf this year, but and she's like not. Uh, in I, saying that. I feel like we're all like sleepwalking that was a strange time we were weirdly enthusiastic and optimistic okay sorry the wrong podcast what challenging thing are you working through becca being me (laughs) (laughs) okay i i'm gonna just put this out there it's a little to the left if you will but one of the things i'm noticing as i get older is that I am, and this is so gross, but I'm getting more of a wax buildup in my ear, and I'm wondering if I need to get the Instagram no, thing where I it's have the that. little claw. I have that. Does it oh, work? No, wait, I have wait, the camera. The spiral? The spiral. It like goes in like a little shovel and then pulls it no, out or whatever. No, Zach just went to an ENT. Finally. Okay. Finally. Because he can't hear anything. Yeah. What? I you should hear the deba- this is for a whole nother episode, but I complain that he can whatever. He never knows how he's feeling. ENT, he finally made it there after eight years of chronic ear issues. Yeah. He's fine. There's other things going on. No not serious, don't worry. But the the ENT said, I want you to never, ever, ever stick a single mm-hmm. thing in your ear, ever, unless it is Blotting your ear hole with tissue paper or a towel to dry it out. Yeah. We're not supposed to be putting anything in our ears no. or pulling things out. If you have a lot of buildup, you go to a doctor and you can get them to clean you out. Yeah. You can end up f***ing up your eardrum and shit. So oh. no, you shouldn't get Don't that. get the Instagram But thing. like, go get your ears professionally cleaned. Yeah. Do I have time for that? <laughs> I think, have you seen my toenails? I think you might. I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm working my through my earwax. I haven't had a pedicure in like a hundred years. I and I've been like just, I mean, I, I haven't even done my little olive in June. Like I haven't done nothing. Okay. This is a great question. What is something that you are certain you will never experience? Oh. True happiness. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is skydiving. I know oh, yeah, if too. I'm diving out of a plane, out. There's it not is enough the money. end. <laughs> there is not enough money on the planet for me to go up and jump out of an airplane. No, they could offer me Top Gun 3 yes. and say, Guys. the only thing is you have to jump out of an airplane. And I'd say, no, thanks. Mm. Have you done it? Yes. How was it? Multiple times, right? No. Well, I've bungee jumped twice and I've skydived okay, once. Okay, bungee jumping is so stupid. So different. Bungee jumping is bungee jump. terrifying. I think bungee jumping is scarier because you're head it first. Is. No, the difference no, you're between not... <clears throat> yeah, bungee jumping. You are. No, you dive. You dive. Here's why bungee jumping yes, is scarier babe. than skydiving. Because when take you're... it from an expert. Take it from an expert that's done one twice <laughs> and the other one once. When I don't, you, when you sky, no, when you, no, <laughs> okay. when you skydive, you're so, I'm Peggy, <laughs> you're so far up. <laughs> <laughs> it works really good. When you're skydiving, you're so f-ing far <laughs> up in the air. <laughs> I love this machine. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Continue, Jack. Tell us about skydiving. No, I'm over it. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Jack, what? what is scary about skydiving? I'm listening. <laughs> when you skydive, you're so far up in the air that once you start falling, you have like no sense of distance or anything that you kind of feel like you're floating. When you're bungee jumping, you're literally diving into the earth and you can feel yourself like diving into the earth. And almost killing yourself. I don't but they're really both thrilling. Did that. you get the like witch, witch like witch flash from the no. bungee? No, it's not that bad. Why did you do these? Because I like a thrill. Mm. Yes. Thrill. <laughs> I only wanted bu- to do it once. Yeah. And then I I fell in love with did my skydive instructor and then uh-huh. I thought I was gonna move to Hawaii and right. <laughs> of course <laughs> and be with him forever. <laughs> of course. And he was like twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet he was hot. He was, hot. yeah, of course. course. And he, you like you he felt it. it. He, he could get it. He could get it. <laughs> he could get it. He oh, could get it was it. the best guy dive you've ever done. No, <laughs> <laughs> he was Bella Hadid. <laughs> Becca, what is something you're sure you'll never experience? 
Wow. She's so quiet. Childbirth. Now. This is so dark. Damn, that took it to a dark place. <laughs> I don't know. That took it to a dark place. I don't know. Okay. I can't think of anything. I'm not doing any extreme sports. What? Being do- at an award show? <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen, there's so many award shows now. <laughs> like, okay. And the, like, did you watch the Jennifer Lopez documentary? No. It was heartbreaking. Why? She really, and I don't even... I don't know if she had herself convinced, but like everyone had her convinced that she was going to get nominated for the Oscar. And yeah, then they did. the worst part was that they had her convinced before that, that it was clear in the documentary to me that they sort of had her convinced that she was going to win the Golden Globe. Laura Dern won that year for Marriage Story. But yeah. the reason why is that she's in the fitting. Remember, she wore that big bow dress with the gold bow on it. And it was like a very teacup. It was like, it's a winner's dress. Like yeah. you don't wear it. And she says in the thing, like, well, you don't want to wear this dress if you're going to lose. And then everyone's like, <sighs> like, you're not going to lose, right? Which is what your paid help is supposed to say to you. Say. <laughs> yeah. But like, yes, I don't know. I think, she, I think she thought she was going to win. And she, sh- I, in my opinion, she should have won because that's what the Golden Globes is all about. Who's the hottest and most popular is nothing actually to do about <laughs> the movies. Um, well, now it's probably changed. But anyway, then people really, she was convinced she was going to get the Oscar nomination. It's pretty depressing. Mm. And I like Jennifer Lopez, so I felt bad. Anyway, okay. I feel like my bleak situation is yeah. very different from jennifer lopez <laughs> not I'm like, winning I'm, an oscar I'm, I'm, am i feeling bad for her right now? i feel so, bad for myself i'm, I'm never gonna not house. feeling bad for her <laughs> i'm feeling bad that i did win a teen choice award and i didn't even receive a surfboard mm. but did you get to go up on stage and thank everyone mm-hmm. well it was a so it was passed, it was i was right? nominated for a, an individual didn't win that and oh. then i the cast got it. the cast got it so did it's you like, go up with the cast yeah thrilling but did you talk no. Even if I was you on Glee, like I know you were seventh or eighth on the list or whatever of like the stars, yeah. I would have been at the front. I'd be yeah, like, we know. I would have walked the fastest. You know how that happens at the Oscars when like the person that you do not want to hear for, like Meryl <laughs> Streep is right there. And then like the producer number four walks the fastest and gets up there first and doesn't realize the time's ticking. They're like, I just want to thank my wife. And you're like, Gene, nobody cares about you. <laughs> Gene, we like, want to hear Meryl. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I think that you can still win an award because if this year's taught me anything, it's there's an award show for everything. <laughs> there's still real screen. There's still a Webby, which we stopped applying for. I there's do new not pod- want a Webby. There's podcast awards. And, you know, I, I do want a Webby. I look at... <laughs> I look at Chrishell, okay, and this is a perfect example. Terrible example. I watched her going along with Justin to the Emmys and all the award shows, and she was the plus one, and she was always in a beautiful dress, and it's like sometimes he would bring her up for the interview. Sometimes she would sit down in, like, the plus one area and wait. And then she was at the MTV Awards, and she yeah, won but, her own award. But listen. <clears throat> it's not the same. This is controversial, but... Yeah. An MTV reality show award is not the same as his Emmy. It's saying. as if somebody was like, you don't need to be a t- on a TV show. You have the lady gang. <laughs> you're right. You're like, right. The popcorn that she won. Uh, right. It's, it's exciting it's her and lady wonderful. Gang. It's wonderful. It's her lady gang. It's her, it's lady, her gang. lady gang. She's probably still passionate and like, I wish I could get taken for this role or something. Maybe. Sure. Who knows? Who knows? She seems pretty happy. Yeah. Um, okay. What do you spend the most time thinking about? Oh. Like, honestly. Don't be funny now. Now, unfortunately, it's a child. Yeah. I, I'd hope so. <laughs> what if I was like, nope. No. You're like, I think mm-hmm. about my abs. Yeah. I spend the most time having fake conversations that never happen in my own head. Oh, wow. Or like, like narrating, ones? narrating my story. So I have to stop myself because this is something that I think the social media of the world is making us do now where I'm doing something that's clearly just for me. I'm watering the plants. I'm putting away the groceries. I'm doing a workout. And I'm not taping it. It's just my own life. But then in my brain, my brain starts doing the VO on TikTok. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. I need you to get off TikTok for a minute. It's exo- It's like, it's Don't like, do that. It's like, how do you keep the plants alive? Here's what I do. Like, it just starts, like, doing an infotainment <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> like... That's psychotic. This is like Clockwork Orange, but social media it's style. It's really weird. It's so I oh I can't. It's kind of like Jenny's book. Yeah, City it like Lights. narrates my my own life through my, but for only myself. Wow, very weird. So anyway, Damn. bleak. <laughs> I'm actually, I know, disturbed. Scared for me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why don't you say I really feel? 
<laughs> Roll the tape. Okay, Jack. <sighs> um, what do I spend the most of my time thinking about? <laughs> Probably. <sighs> Like, the future, I can never, like, exist in a moment. Like, I'm always yeah. thinking about what I'm going to do oh. that, that night, the next day, the next like month. Like, even when you're out ha- doing the thing that you love most, like, having drinks with your friends, you're still thinking about what the future? Yeah. You are? Mm-hmm. So what I is the point were. of it all? I knew you well, were. What I, is the point of it? What's the point of this metaverse? Well, I've been... <laughs> I don't know. You no. Speaking of not the metaverse, but like <laughs> speaking of the metaverse, Dr. Speaking Evil of looks- the simulation, yeah. Something that I've really come to terms with recently that gives me like massive anxiety is always the fear of like something being over, whether that be like the day or the week or the year or, your or like my life or yeah. somebody that I love's oh. life. So I feel like that I'm like constantly chasing time slowing down and ending Mm. so i feel like that has a lot to do with it Mm -hmm. i don't know i interesting i think your brain is so weird inside like i'm outwardly weird but i think no i think jack jack is like a very there's like a lot there is a metaverse in there it's anxiety yeah Yeah. it's like the inability to be present Mm -hmm. and thinking ahead is that's anticipation and living in the anticipation is anxiety yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting thing that I've been doing with from my therapist, Amira, who's been on here. All mm-hmm. she deals with is death. Yeah. All she deals with is death, people, blah, blah, blah. Well, I had an interesting thing happen where I went off my anxiety meds and I have been trying to mo- to mo- uh, meditate mm-hmm. to like get present and not anticipate and do that thing with the anxiety. And this is going to come across as insane and crazy, but I've been able to get to a point in meditation where I sort of know what it's going to feel like to die. Mm-hmm. And I, it feels great. <laughs> this is crazy. And I don't think it's going to read. I don't think this is going to no, translate I've very well. Done the same thing. Yes. So it's actually like confront. You're not, you're not like going into it with that as a goal per se, but you're going to a place of like neutrality mm-hmm. and intense like presence and it's inevitable like we're all actively dying yeah. and it's we're, we're gonna get there and something about like doing that practice every day has been a really crazy thing where when I think about people dying in my life yeah it can sucks and it's sad but it's like kind of getting desensitized in a way yeah. of like knowing that that it's okay Mm -hmm. weirdly I feel Mm -hmm. like and I'm not religious but I do think that there's something more and going on yeah and our soul is going to be like thank you so much I'm exhausted yeah it was hard to be you Becca yeah like yeah Mm. Mm. interesting wow so are you constantly thinking about people dying I think it's like a constant fear that like is underlying all the time yeah I think about every time Chris leaves the house that's and normal, think, but yeah. it's like, is it a passing thought or is it something you fixate on? That's no, the difference. it's a passing thought. Like, I'm like, make sure you make eye contact with him right now. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I don't know. She's like, yeah. and also, Jack's about to break open into a million pieces. <laughs> so she's just trying to hold it together. <laughs> like, what is reality? I think maybe, Jack, it could be time. I know you don't like this, but maybe it's time to do some therapy. No, I'm always open to doing therapy i just have never found a therapist that i like you got to keep going for it i know it's hard it's like a boy now that you have the love of your life yeah you can find the therapist of your life yeah especially before you get married yeah because it also is like a very stressful weird emotional thing even if you love your person so much to get married and the family around it and like you know and like the pressure and the friends and like your friends do weird things that you're like wait am i supposed to like it's good to have like an outlet for that so i feel like it could be pump up time yeah Life's best moments happen around a roaring fire and a smokeless fire pit from Solo Stove makes your outdoor moments even more memorable. Because instead of having to constantly dodge campfire fumes, you can sit back, relax, and actually enjoy the fire, which we did on 4th of July. All of our friends' kids got around, made s'mores with it, and we sat there very relaxed because we weren't dodging the flames or fumes. Get big discounts on all fire pits during Solo Stove's summer sale. Use promo code LADY at solostove.com for an extra $10 off. Upgrade your backyard with the solo stove fire pit and create story worthy moments it's designed to regulate airflow and burn more efficiently meaning less fireside smoke it's the perfect spark for getting outside and spending more time with your family and friends they're so confident you're going to love them that they're offering a lifetime warranty and a 30-day free return 
policy. So right now you can get big discounts on all fire pits during Solo Stove's summer sale. Use promo code LADY at solostove.com for an extra $10 off. That's solostove.com, promo code LADY for $10 off on top of their incredible summer sale discounts. Cha-ching! It's the sound of another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses so you can sell everywhere, synchronize online and in-person sales, and effortlessly stay informed. We have been using Shopify with Lady Gang for a long time. We love how seamless it is. We love how quick it is, and we love how easy it makes our lives. So scaling your business is a journey of endless possibilities with Shopify. Synchronize your online and in-person and sales, like I said, gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates, profit margins, and beyond. So there's so much there. Go to shopify.com slash ladygang, all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash ladygang right now, shopify.com slash ladygang. You can do it. You can make it easy with Shopify. You're listening to The Lady Gang. Last question. There are two types of people in this world. Mm. What are the two types? Shit. Mm. I've had so many of these, but they're funny, so I'm going to get in trouble. What do you mean they're funny? Like, I always have moments where, oh, my sister and I were going through my parents' house because they're not dying, <laughs> but they will be someday. And so before they do that, they're moving. Mm-hmm. And it's called the death move. In Sweden, I think it's in Sweden or like Norway, they do this thing where all the older people, when they retire and they're moving into their, they do this purge of all the things that they right. don't want their kids to have to deal uh, with when yeah, they're yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. Right. So the, my sister and I were doing this for my parents before they move into their new house. We were going through their stuff and I was like, oh my God, there are so many um, instruction manuals for things that You don't are, own anymore. Oh, no. Or if they do, it's a remote control. It's a lamp. It's a flashlight. Yeah. There is, like, no reason. And I said there are two types of people in this world. There are people who keep forever. Mm-hmm. My or dad. throw away immediately. Yep. There's no in between. Yeah. No. There's two types of people in this world. People like me that... Um, buy something, a television, a microwave, a coffee maker, and put it on the shelf and then either file or whatever instruction manual is up to you, but then throw out the box. Or they're the people who then take the empty box and store the empty box because they may need the box again one day. One of those is Chris Knight and one of them (laughs) is me. What the f*** are we saving this TV box for? I wish you could see my parents' basement. That is... My dad saved boxes from blenders. (laughs) Blenders! Sorry, Jared. I couldn't. I was appalled. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't need it's the box. Really wild. And you definitely don't need the instruction manual. It's online. That's the it's like, online. You can, it. you can Google anything. Anything. But that's the thing. It's like I we kept. I kept the instruction manuals. I have the vagina print that I did with Chris. We talked about another episode. Like I have the first card he ever gave me. I don't have my divorce certificate for my first divorce. That feels like something you should put in the safe and like hang on to. You might need it. Yeah. Oh, I know mine. Okay. What is it? There are two types of people in this world. You are either are the naked neighbor or you have a naked Whoa. neighbor. Oh, I'm shit. The, I'm the naked neighbor. I, I am know the that naked I am. neighbor and I don't give a f- I'm the naked I, neighbor that has like the window open and I'm like, what? Who have, if somebody's going to see you're me welcome. from across the way, yeah. like, good, get your little sexy rocks mature. Off. That's good. But if you, do, you either have one or you are one. Yeah. Wow. It's true. I am. I actually. <gasps> I have one. What? Okay, there's two types of people in the world. People who keep their phone in their fucking bag when you're in dark places, like the theater or the movies. Or there's people who think it's not a big deal to quickly look and brighten their whole screen. Those are old people that don't know how to work their phones. No, I was just at a movie screen the other day, and one of my friends, I realized... You're just talking about something that, like, somebody does. Yeah, and I hate it. <laughs> I've, d- I've been both those people. <laughs> Me too. You guys, if you're somewhere where everyone's enjoying something oh. and it's dark, don't bring your own personal flashlight, AK phone, into the world. Like, I- I, that screen color drives me peripherally. Oh, I have one. It's female centric and no judgment, but there are two types of women. Mm, I know what you're going to say. Well, one that sleeps in a thong and one oh. that doesn't. 
Oh, oh. Jack, did you, didn't you sleep in a song? I phone used from? to. Yeah. I'm yeah. a changed woman. The other one is the woman who can fall asleep with my makeup on. Yes. Oh. And, and the one who, like the meme where it says you got a call that your significant other dropped dead or is missing. Do you do your skincare routine? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. yes, I do. Oh my God. I'll do my like 10, 10 step skincare routine when I'm like blackout drunk. Yeah. yeah. The but there thing. are women who I, I, to, yeah. I know women who strategically, they're not even drunk. They just want to keep their eye makeup on because they want it for the next day. And I'm Miss like, Maisel. how I used to do that a lot when I worked at ET and at those early call times, if I had an early Saturday morning, I'd sleep in my, I'd wipe everything off, but the eyes and keep the eyes on. It was fine. But that was like for a general reason. I can't even having make a stand, having makeup on for a full day. Like I have a little bit of makeup on and we've been going and I'm like, I can't, yeah, I can't wait to get my face off anyway. Okay. guys. Well, this was fun. We learned a lot about each other and we will see see you you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Thanks for listening. The Lady Gang is produced by Alex Ingber, Steve Delameter, and Jared Monaco. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review our podcast. And if you love it, share it with your friends on social media. Like, oh my God, I just listened to Lady Gang. This episode's so great. Swipe up to listen. And if you really want to, which we know you do, please follow us on social. At Kelty, at Becca, at Jack Vanek, and at The Lady Gang. Sign up for our newsletter at theladygang.com and join our secret Facebook group. It's super fun. See you next Tuesday.